Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Ominous Omnibus Volume 2 Dead Time Stories for Booze and Ghouls. I was kind of laughing because I knew I had to say the Ominous Omnibus, and I feel like we should keep a track as to how many times I messed that up. So far, it's zero. I got it right. Uh, I am a Simpsons fan. I've, I've watched every single episode. I've probably seen most episodes multiple times. And obviously a yearly tradition is the Treehouse of Horror, giving us a, uh, a series of uh, shorts all kind of trying to scare us and celebrate the uh, Halloween season. Uh, some are good, some are bad, and there are absolutely some classic ones that uh, hold up to this day. Uh, so it's kind of interesting going back and checking out this uh, omnibus and seeing what's inside. Uh, it is a volume two, and I have to say it is massive. First, the packaging is awesome. You got this uh, kind of cut out in the front and this nice thick cover for it. Uh, and then the inside cover of the actual uh, book is glow in the dark. And it glows really, really well. Uh, it's solid. I kind of was having fun sitting in the dark and just kind of appreciating all the glowing eyes and ghosts and ghouls within. Uh, the book itself is, is really interesting. This is not... Uh, one that goes by year. Instead, it kind of groups the stories together. Uh, there's, I think there's 57 stories total, uh, and they are grouped together with The End of the World, Fearsome Flora and Freakish Fauna, Bodily Oddities, From Bad to Curse, The Lighter Side of Evil, Historic Horrors, and then the uh, there is a massive amount of creators all with very, very differing styles. And I think that's what actually, I think is really intriguing and stands out to me. I, I remember getting this, the Simpsons comic way back in the day, um, the original ones that came out. And I mean, it's been decades, but I don't remember there being like such variety in the styles. Like obviously storytelling, you're gonna get some variety, but the art styles. Uh, but this one is just like, it feels like kind of an anthology with everyone kind of, you know, sticking around with characters that we know. Uh, but thrown in their own style, and it varies a lot. And just like the, the actual Treehouse of Horrors themselves, the stories vary in quality a lot. Totally expected and totally cool. I mean, it, it is kind of a Simpsons tradition. Um, it's interesting. I mean, the fact that we get them grouped together by kind of what the story's about as opposed to, like, the years or just chronological or any of that, I, I think is really intriguing. Um... So yeah, it, it's it's an interesting omnibus, and I, I don't think I have volume one, so didn't know really what to expect going into volume two. Uh, as I said, the art style is very, very a lot. It opens up with a um, uh, riff on the rapture that has, I would say, more of the traditional Simpsons look to it. But then you get art styles like this, which is obviously very different. Um, this also kind of reminds me of like the latter years when they start doing very, very different couch gags uh, with different creators. Uh, so to me, that's was cool. I really liked seeing that uh, with the different art styles. And there we get slightly very art style as well. Oh yeah, now this one will absolutely stand out. We have the Simpsons dealing with Cthulhu. Uh, in the back, it's got a list of the creators, and we'll have it on Facebook and YouTube and our site. Um, more of a manga-ish style. As I said, I mean, this is a really intriguing mix. I love this. I absolutely love that page for some reason. Just the old school art with Homer sticking out is just such a great piece of art. Um, it's cool. This is a really, really neat piece of history. Uh, there's kind of like ads in between. As I said, so much varying art style, so much different storytelling. Um, and you know, as, as with it comes with it, you're, you're going to get varying in styles and quality as well. But overall, as a Simpsons fan, very happy with this. This is just a great presentation. I love the cover. I love the glow in the dark. This is a massive, massive book and, um, had, had me smiling. It was great to just go revisit, uh, Simpsons throughout the years. Uh, and it's kind of interesting to read these as they have evolved over the years as well. 
You can go get this. This is out now in shops. We got a link beneath our video. Put in your zip code to tell the comic shop is near you. No shop, no problem. We have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so you do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site. So thank you. I want to thank Abrams Comic Arts for opening us up this review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, if you are into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping you nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and don't. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.